Usually in Webflow, we can use conditional visibility to hide or show elements based on whether a toggle is checked, whether a link, text, or image element is set. But whenever we use components, we lose access to those options unless we unlink the component, which often isn't an option. So we can use CSS to handle the conditions for us. For instance, in this section here, I might want to hide the entire section if the heading for that section isn't set. So I'll give this section a class of check for text. So we want to check to see if we have empty text inside. And the element we want to check is this heading here. So I'll give it a class of CMS text. And the element we want to hide could be this text element itself, or it could be this content wrapper inside. So we could give it a class of hide if empty text, and that'll hide the content wrapper. Or we might want to hide the entire section. In this case, we'll do that. So we're hiding this entire section when the heading is empty and on pages where it's not empty, that entire section shows up. Now we will also only want this video to show up when the image here is not set. So I'll grab this div that holds the video and image and I'll give it a class of check for image. So we're checking to see if we have an empty image inside. And then the image we want to check is this one here. So we'll give it a class of CMS image. And then for the video, we only want to show it if the image is empty. So we'll say show if empty image. And so now the video is completely hidden on this page, but it is actually visible on this other page. Now the image element itself, we want to hide if empty. So we'll give this image a class of hide if empty and if empty image and that'll hide the entire image. Now we could have applied this class to a div that holds the image if we want it to hide an entire parent. In this case, we're just hiding the image itself, but it could work either way. Now here we have this sort of uh, link block element here. And if we check out the CMS here, we'll notice that the link is empty for the image, but for the, the video one, the link is filled. So I'll head over to this page where the link is empty. And what we'll want to do is hide this entire button wrapper if the link inside is empty. So first we're going to say check for link. And the element we want to check for is this button, which has the link inside. So we'll give this button a class of CMS link. And then the element we want to hide could be the button itself. So we could say hide if empty link. Or in this case, though, we're just going to hide the entire button wrapper. So we'll, we'll give that a class of hide if empty link. And that way we're hiding this entire thing when the button inside is empty. And we also want to use this with toggles. Now with toggles here, if I were to just drop in sort of a uh, component, we can actually connect an element to a toggle field, but we can only show that element when the toggle is on. We can't hide another element when the toggle is on natively. So what we want to do here is whenever the featured toggle is on, we want to show this featured section and hide this non-featured section. So I'll just give this div, um, I'll go ahead and connect that to the featured um, toggle like so. And then I'll give it a class of, we'll call it CMS toggle. So this is the element we want to listen for. I could also give it a display of none in all cases, so it doesn't interfere with anything. Um, but we're basically just want to check if this element is toggled on or off. And then we want to check that within this page wrap. We could check it within an entire section or any element we want, but I'll go ahead and call this uh, check for uh, toggle. And so within this element, we're checking to see if there's a toggle element here that's turned on. And then we can show or hide different elements. So for this section, I'm going to say show if toggled. And for this other section, I'm going to say hide if toggled. And that way, this section will be hidden on the other page. And this first featured section will be shown on this page and hidden on the other page. So that's how we can use some CSS to hide and show different elements based on these conditions. One thing I want to point out is on my image component, I actually have the default image here pointed to placeholder SVG, which is just an image I have inside of the assets here. So whatever your default image URL is, um, you would just want to replace that in the CSS. So we're saying for any CMS image that has the placeholder image, then we want to hide things versus if it had another image that's coming from the CMS, uh, then we can ignore it. So that's just one thing to keep in mind is just replace the string with the actual name of whatever your placeholder default image is. 
And so that's how to use this uh, CSS to basically mimic conditional visibility inside of Webflow.